Today we're going to be pulling this window out and putting new butyl tape in it and fixing this mess. Um, they had a little silicone here. I don't like silicone, so I want to get rid of all that, clean it up, put new tape in, replace these rusty screws. Um, I get a little water on the inside laying in this windowsill and it gets my curtain wet. It hasn't caused any internal damage that I can see and we're going to make sure everything inside behind the siding is good. I'm hoping it's just come in um, and sat on the sill and not soaked down in. Um, but, uh, and this is a new thing too, I didn't notice that when we first got the camper uh, with the last couple storms we've had, I've noticed the, the corner of the curtain getting damp. So, uh, time to clean it up. Um, we're probably also going to um, replace these um, pull them off and make sure there's no water getting in behind them as well. When you drive in the rain, this whole area is getting hammered with rain and also everything kind of runs down from the top here. So I want to make sure that's good and sealed before winter. The window is out. Um, it actually came out a lot better than I thought. Um, I just used that little putty knife and slipped it in in a couple spots and then just really evenly and um, carefully put some pressure on it and it slowly released from the tape. Uh, the old tape is actually still um, pliable and kind of malleable. Uh, I do think it was leaking a little bit right here. You can see it goes from like gray to like algae looking. Um, and here's where the issue was. Um, I'm glad they had this flashing here. You can see there's a little bit of water yeah, or the wood looks a little yucky, but it's still firm. Um, I'm not going to pull this apart. I don't think there's any issue down there. So we're going to clean this up super duper good. Um, get our new tape ready. And as you and see, there's no rain on the horizon because it kind of makes me freak out a little seeing <laughs> this all open right uh, to our inside. But uh, we'll get it sealed up here hopefully uh, in an hour or so actually coming off really well um, it's very sticky over, over here. here then this piece is coming up um, with no work at all you can just pull the whole thing right off um, and that tells me um, right here I didn't even use the knife this just fell off so I think our leak was right here um, maybe on the window frame a little bit as well but I think it was coming in here and traveling down the inside of the frame so um, that's good but we'll make sure this is completely clean and uh, ready for the new tape. So. Ew, there it is, 54 year old sealant tape. It smells, glad that's out of there. Now I've started working on the window side, um, cleaning off that flange and look what I found. These things are everywhere. Are you guys having trouble with stink bugs? I mean, he was inside the window frame, so that's great. <laughs> I hate these things. I'm not sure what the previous owner thought they were accomplishing by putting, like, painter's caulk on the inside. I mean, think about it. Once the water gets to here, it's already going down somewhere else. Um, one thing I've learned with these old campers is you cannot control what the previous owner did, um, but you can definitely make steps to improve that in any repairs you do. Um, do better than they did. Uh, most of the things I've seen so far, not just on campers, but on anything used to buy is, for the most part, people just patch stuff and do a hack job and, or just don't do anything, just lack of maintenance altogether. Uh, so try to break that cycle so that when you sell whatever you have, um, the next person doesn't have to deal with that. It'll be worth more and uh, it'll just, uh, better for everybody and if you keep it too then it's gonna last longer so um, do better people I know you can one thing that's been helpful I'm finding when removing this tape is uh, just be super gentle uh, it doesn't work every time but if you just put slow pressure on it see how it's just lifting right off now if I pull fast then it pulls apart like this or it, it rips and uh, leaves residue but if you just get under it and like work a screwdriver up as you're pulling just a little bit um, 
it's it actually gives a nice clean release and you don't have nearly as much residue so it might you know it might just be this situation but it seems to be the case here i got the uh surface all cleaned up uh, removed all the old sealant tape and any silicone or whatever else they had i also pulled this back i'm going to reseal that um, this is where it was wet and you can see the wood it's not completely rotted but it's definitely moist um, and it has a little mold growing on it so i'm going to leave this open all day um, it's a breezy low humidity day with full sun and try to get it as dry as we can in there and then seal it back up so we're doing the same thing on this side it looks good over here i don't see any damage um, but we'll seal it up as best we can and i'm going to replace these lights you can see one of them that's had water in the lens <clears throat> but we're gonna pull them off and get new tape in there and install new lights uh, looks pretty good behind the light they had tons of tape on it and the only openings are these small openings so i really don't think we were getting any water in there um, and i pulled this back and looked up in there and it looks all good but uh, i'm gonna try to pick up uh, three new lights while we're out and just uh, eliminate that problem before it becomes a problem these three items have proved to be the best for removing uh, the old tape and cleaning the surface. A putty knife and just your fingers to remove it at first. Um, then a little wire wheel. If I went slow with this, it didn't seem to hurt the finish. It just pulled up the sticky uh, leftover tape and then uh, goof off with the rag to uh, finish it off. All right, we are all prepped on the window. I thought I'd stop being lazy actually get my tripod out so you guys could see um, me working. It's been open uh, for several hours and everything feels really dry so we're gonna get the uh, tape in place. So I'm using I guess it's pronounced butyl tape or something like that. Um, it's from an RV store. I was really impressed so far with how cheap everything is uh, even just locally sourced from the sealant to the roof coating and um, the vent fan and this tape so this is 30 feet I think I paid like nine nine or ten bucks for this um, it's gonna get all set up get the tape on get the window in this stuff cuts super easy so I'm just going to lay it out and then just cut it with the scissors for a rough cut and like I said it's cheap so go a little bit long so you make sure you don't run out I'm gonna lay it in there and then slowly peel off the backing totally new to this and I'm finding out something interesting um, if you put any pressure on it at all, it slowly starts spreading and getting thin in whatever area it's stretching at, and you don't want that. So don't pull on it at all. Get it where you want it, and quick little tugs of this uh, backing help it come off. But the first one I was doing, like I would with masking tape, masking a car out, and it was stretching it out like a piece of gum and getting thin, so I had to scrap that piece. Because um, wherever you end up going thin, uh, it's not going to lay quite right so it's kind of a learning process for me but I think I got this piece on. We are ready to do it so I'm gonna have my screws and my driver on standby and make sure you put your window in right so it's not upside down. Make sure um, your tape stays in place when you put it in and that's it. Do it. Windows all in and got the screws all snugged up. Uh, I like seeing the tape squish out. It tells me it's sealed very well. So I call that a win. Um, I am going to clean up the window a little more and then we're going to replace the lights. Uh, that's it for today. We got it all finished. New lights. Um, it's too bright right now to show you them on but uh, they're in and they work. Windows all sealed. Um, so that's it. Pretty basic repair. Uh, I was a little intimidated at first by about taking the whole window out. Um, it seems like a big deal, but it's really not. Um, it's a lot more simple than like a window in your house because of the way the trim work and stuff is on the inside. It just comes in and um, or goes out and back in. So um, don't let that stop you from fixing it. Um, I definitely know after taking it apart and looking that it was leaking through here. Um, the previous owner just kept piling up silicone down here. But if you look at the design of the window, um, there's another seal and a big lip on the inside 
Um, and this is all kind of running downhill, so uh, I could see maybe if you're driving in rain that would be more important, but I don't think any of the leaking was coming around the glass. It was all behind that flange on the frame. So, um, hope that helped you out, and uh, let me know in the comments um, if you do one of these um, and how it goes working with that tape and stuff. So, uh, thanks for watching, and catch you later.